take the floor for five minutes. Thank you very much, President. Uh, it's very interesting this hour to, to discuss something that is of great importance to EU citizens. I'm very pleased, though, that this debate is taking place since voting rights is a key issue for the committee for which I'm chair, namely the Petitions Committee in this House. The participation in the democratic life of the EU and the electoral rights by EU citizens living abroad in another member state in the Union is frequently the subject of petitions to my committee. Six member states, namely Cyprus, Denmark, Germany, Ireland, Malta and the United Kingdom, systematically deprive their nationals of the right to vote in national elections due to their residence in another member state. The same member states also disenfranchise their nationals in European elections if they live permanently in a third country. The right to vote, though, is a fundamental right. Therefore, depriving citizens of the right to vote once they move to another EU member state is effectively equivalent to punish these citizens for having exercised their right to free movement in the Union. These persons all, all very often feel like se second-class citizens. Their, these practices can change their whole life without giving them the opportunity to participate, which was the case for all the British citizens who were not at all allowed to participate in the referendum about Brexit because they lived in another member state for some time. However, they were directly affected by the result when Brexit was a fact. It is therefore high time that the member states in this union address this very concrete concern because this enfranchisement has huge consequences for all the individuals concerned. The loss of electoral rights for citizens moving to another member state can be seen as an infringement upon the freedom of movement under EU law. It could potentially stop the EU citizens from exercising their right to free movement in the Union. Indeed, the discouraging effect in each individual case may be difficult to prove, but the violation of EU citizenship rights does not require statistical or other evidence. It's enough to read the petitions to our committee. The main justification, though, for disenfranchisement rules that citizens living abroad no longer have sufficient links with their home country seems completely outdated in the globalized world of today. We are interconnected with each other. The nationality bond with a state is still the main connecting factor for rights and obligations of each citizen. But citizens resident abroad still have obligations deriving from their nationality so that they should also be conferred their corresponding rights. In addition, there has been a EU Euro barometer on electoral rights where two thirds of the respondents thought that it was not at all justified that people lose the right to vote uh, in national elections in their country because they simply reside in another EU country. The Committee on Petitions considers that EU citizens who move to, an, uh, to reside in another member state should have the possibility to exercise their right to vote in the national elections of their country of origin. The committee therefore call on those member states that disenfranchise nationals who choose to live for an extended period in another member state to ease the conditions for these nationals and preserve their right to vote in national elections. The committee is of course aware of the fact that the de decision of who is conferred the right to vote in national and in European elections lies with the member states. Nevertheless, we also know that the problem of disenfranchisement of voting rights has been known for a long time. 
it is therefore high time to take action now. We therefore urge the Commission to propose specific measures for removing any obstacles to the free movement, especially in the view of the upcoming elections in May next year, we must safeguard the right of all EU citizens to choose to vote either in their member state of origin or in the host member state where they reside. I'm looking forward to hear your answers to the questions put forward by the Petitions Committee. And I thank you all. Thank you, Minister